Ho, ho, ho. Merry Sleigh Ride, everybody. It's that time of year again to play that non-denominational holiday tune that everyone loves. Ensemble. It's probably playing like the same parts that they've played since they first got the tune. You know, the kind that has like the yellow page. It's like kind of like almost burnt looking. Uh, the ends are kind of chewed up. There's like a billion markings on it. Some dingo from like 1980s something just didn't know how to read music or something. Maybe a few tear stains on the uh, on the on the swing section. Love it or hate it, Sleigh Ride is here to stay, and it's gonna come back every single year for the rest of your life. Now cut to the first cornet part, right? Herein lies one of the most iconic things in the entire piece of Sleigh Ride by Leroy Anderson. The horse whinny. Fun? Yeah. Anxiety inducing? Yeah. How do the pros make it sound so incredible? Uh, well, let's try to figure that out, okay? Let's dive into more detail on how to produce that iconic sound on the trumpet. Also, if, you're, if you don't mind, whinny your way straight to that, uh, subscribe button so you can see future winnings and the future winnie winnie winnie. That wasn't as creative as some of the other ones I've done. Look, it's my, uh, it's my, uh, it's my sleigh ride tree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Isolated on its own, it's really, really fun to play. You can even say for some people that it's a novelty trick to pull off for a bunch of friends or family. Sometimes I do it just to get the attention of some of my younger students if they're kind of dozing off in the middle of a lesson. So how exactly do you pull it off? Well, I mean, it says it in the music, you, you half valve it. Kinda? Well, let me explain, let me grab... Of course I forgot my trumpet. Luckily it's back here. How's your day going? Mine's good. Do you know I do these videos folding my legs on the couch? To get to the nit and gritty of how to perform a horse whinny, you need to know that when you push down different valves, they're gonna have a different kind of timbre to it. Timbre meaning the character of the tone that comes out. So for example, I mean, if you go, let's say one valve half down, it goes like this. While you do two, or three. Each combination kind of has a different sound. And the thing that's going to be really sucky about it is that each person makes a different sound when it comes to each valve pushdown. So for some people, they perform the horse when he perfect with all three pushdown, just halfway. For me, it's the first and the third valve. That's what I've always done it as. And I always kind of do it as like maybe the first third pushdown rather than halfway down. Because then there's a little bit more air that comes through it and you can kind of get a little bit more going with it. First, I think you should do a little bit of research, find out what sound does a horse- What- What is a horse whinny in the first place? Huh. Even listen to other professional players do it. Like, listen to- listen to this guy. Or that guy. So for me, like I said, I push the first and third valve down just a little bit, a little bit like maybe a third down. You should shake the trumpet while you do it because it kind of creates that sound. So, for example. Something kind of similar to that. It could be as drawn out as you wanted it to be. It can be as short as you want it to be be sweet and poignant, or it could be like really dramatic, like a really angry horse. I also kind of end it sometimes by doing a little bit of, a little bit of pedal tone kind of stuff. That looks kind of weird, doesn't it? But that kind of adds a little bit more effect to the very end of it, just because, you know, it's just a horse goes, you know? Good horse impression. Go into a practice room, go ahead and practice different kind of variations of it, see what works. I know that a few people actually work on this way. They grab like a pen or a pencil and they put the, I can't, then you put it like in between the second and third, kind of similar to this. Then you push down the valves and you see it kind of has that half valviness to it. And they use that and then they go ham. So it sounds kind of like this. <laughs> That also is a good sound. So it's whatever one you prefer, 
but that's one of the other methods you can use to try it out. Well, that's all fine and good. You can always do that in isolation. You can always do it in a practice room or with some friends or even in rehearsal, you know, like that's all fine, but you don't know what's gonna happen when you're actually in context of the actual performance. You're going along in the piece, you're having a jolly old time, it's a sleigh ride. It's not just kind of dancing around a little bit. Some people might be wearing Santa hats, depending on the on the professionalism of the group. But then it goes into that section, it goes through like the circle of fifths. Kind of that whole part. And that's when it hits you. Uh oh. It's coming. Then you look at your your trumpet and you go, what is, is this even a, is this a trumpet? How? What, did I forget how to play trumpet? Oh, oh, oh no, it's coming up. Uh, <laughs> oh no, I, I screwed, screwed it, up. it up. So now let's talk about performance anxiety. Well, the butterflies in your stomach when you're about to perform a solo, that's actually a good thing. It means you care, right? So what you gotta do is you gotta figure out how to take those butterflies, the energy that you have getting nervous, and how to channel that into performing. How to make that energy turn into something more positive on your side. Now, in all honesty, I would go into a way deeper discussion about performance anxiety and how to kind of get over those nerves and what to do next, but that's actually a topic for another video. I really need to make that trumpet performance anxiety video. It's coming, don't worry. Someday, someday you're gonna get it. So my suggestion for this piece is sometimes you need to remember you're playing Sleigh Ride. You know, the goofy tune. And not only that, you're playing the goofiest part of the goofy tune. There's not, this isn't some heartfelt, deep emotional solo that's gonna make and break your musical prowess and your career or whatever. If you mess it up, oh well, it's fine. Everyone's already joyous. Everyone's already happy with the tune. Everyone's already having a great time. A great time. The point of the solo itself is to make people laugh, to charm them. You're a ho you're not a horse. You're you're a trumpet player. You're not a horse. And so you got to remember that that's part of the enjoyment of the piece. The winnie at the end, it's just the cherry on top of the cake. So it's just the extra little garnish at the very end of the piece. Have fun with it. Don't overthink it. And become that goddamn horse. <laughs> Also, make sure your day is normal. Drink water, find your zen moment, and remember to have the confidence to say, you got this. Well, there you go, everyone. That's how you play the horse, Winnie. Thank you for tuning in. If you have never performed the hor horse Winnie before in concert, uh, you can go ahead and turn off the video. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. Serious, get out. If you do people who've never played the horse Winnie in concert, you, you can go now. Bye. Bye. I think they're gone. Okay. Welcome. Let me be the first to introduce you to the club of people who've performed the horse whinny in concert. We're called the whiners, the winniers. As a new member of our secret society, you have access to many secrets on playing the trumpet, including where the secret octave key is located, how to play a jazz solo, really, by just wiggling your fingers. You also now are in on the secrets of trumpet playing and trumpet players union, including the experiment known as Alan Vizzuti, our cyborg robot man who just is really good at playing the trumpet. To confirm yourself into our secret society, please comment on this video saying, yes, yes, I do love trumpet and horses, nay, nay. Please comment this again if you want to join See you soon, you fellow whiner, win, 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 win.